The East African region is bestowed with enormous development supportive resources. They include productive lands, sufficient industrial and precious minerals, large quantities of flora and fauna, fairly skilled manpower, navigable inland waterways and transformative economic strategies adopted at the regional and national levels within a fairly stable macroeconomic environment. Within the EAC, cooperation in infrastructure development is guided by the EAC treaty as supplemented by protocols, laws, strategies, master plans and regulations. Together, the instruments set out the principles and objectives for infrastructure development. They also establish programs of activities needed to realize the objectives. Overall, infrastructure planning and investment is guided by the principles of equitable socioeconomic development, quality, user safety, affordability, and environmental sustainability. The EAC Vision 2050 identifies infrastructure development among the key pillars and enablers for the long-term transformation and growth needed towards accelerating the momentum for sustained socioeconomic growth over the long term. We have a big market, uh, we have the resources, uh, we have the consumers because now uh, we have a population of close to 150 million uh, people. So we have all the attributes uh, to really transform the East African community into a powerhouse. EAC partner states continue to implement the East African Regional Road Sector Development Program, developed jointly under the EAC coordination, and which aims at integrating the region's transport corridors to meet the growing demand for road transport by the increased national and intra-regional vehicular traffic. The main purpose for establishing reliable transport infrastructure in the region is to strengthen the connection between the land-linked states to the ports on the East African coast. Two major corridors, the Northern and Central Corridor, are key in enabling transit traffic to and from the non-maritime states. The Northern Corridor, the busiest transport route in East and Central Africa, runs from Mombasa port through Kenya to Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, DRC, and South Sudan. It is also part of the Trans-African Highway No. 8, Lagos to Mombasa, which aims at creating a land bridge between the Indian and Atlantic Oceans and provide transit links to DRC and Central African Republic. The main northern corridor is served by a combination of transport modes and infrastructure facilities that include the port of Mombasa, road network, rail network, inland waterways, inland container depots, and an oil pipeline. The Central Corridor, which is the second busiest corridor in the same region, runs from Dar es Salaam port through Tanzania to Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, and DRC. It forms part of the backbone of the regional transportation system in East and Central Africa, carrying the imports and exports of the five countries. It also provides an intermodal link to Zambia and DRC via Lake Tanganyika. Like the Northern Corridor, the Central Corridor is served by a combination of transport modes and infrastructure facilities that include the Port of Dar es Salaam, Road Network, Rail Network, Inland Waterways and Inland Container Depots. Other essential road networks include the Trans-African Highway No. 4, which stretches the length of Africa from Cape Town to Cairo via Gaborone, cutting across the EAC from Moyale to Nairobi to Namanga to Arusha to Dodoma to Mbeya to Tunduma and onwards to Lusaka. The Lamu Port, South Sudan, Ethiopia Transport, Lapset Corridor, is a multimodal transport route which aims at connecting Kenya to South Sudan and Ethiopia through the port of Lamu. This mega project consists of seven key infrastructure projects, starting with a new 32 berth port at Lamu, Kenya, interregional highways from Lamu through Isiolo to Juba, South Sudan crude oil pipeline from Lamu through Isiolo to Juba, product oil pipeline from Lamu through Isiolo to Addis Ababa, interregional standard gauge railway lines from Lamu to Isiolo, 
Nairobi to Isiolo, and Isiolo to Juba. Also in the plan is the construction of an international airport in Isiolo. Tanzania's investment in her urban buses system, Bass Rapid Transit System, a first in the EAC, is already operational. Kuna sehemu ya kukatia ticket ambapo taacha pesa hapo na bidii ataingia kwenye gari ili afike safari yake. The enormous success of the first phase of the BRT operations has triggered a quick agreement to proceed with phase two to bring on board other unserved neighborhoods of the city of Dar es Salaam. Soft infrastructure improvements across the EAC, like the harmonized vehicle load controls, a key control measure to ensure lorries and trucks adhere to axle load limit and don't eventually damage the roads through overloading, are paying returns too. Partner states have embraced Weigh-In Motion System, a technology that weighs trucks as they drive at moderate speeds, and has been installed in select weighbridge stations on the regional road network. Only the overloaded vehicles will pass through the static weighbridge. This Weigh-In Motion will screen out uh, those which are likely to be overloaded, which is about 30%. Truck drivers are a happy lot since they are now spending less time at the various waybridge stops compared to the past. Harmonization of border crossing procedures through the one-stop border post concept and simplification of customs procedures is a welcomed idea too. The OSBP's concept combines two stops in one and consolidates functionality in a shared workspace for exiting one country and entering another, thus reducing on clearance times for passengers and cargo. Clearance was fast, efficient, quick. There are 15 OSBPs in the region, namely Malaba and Busia, which connect Kenya and Uganda, Gatuna, Katuna and Mirama Hills, Kagitumba, connecting Uganda and Rwanda, Lungalunga Horohoro, Taveta Holili, and Isebania Sirari between Kenya and Tanzania, Rusumo between Rwanda and Tanzania, Kabanga Kobero and Mugina Manyovu between Burundi and Tanzania, and Nemba Gaseni, Ruhua and Kanyaru Akanyaru between Rwanda and Burundi. Development of efficient railway systems in the EAC has been touted as a means towards enhancement of connectivity and linkages between the ports and the hinterland to enable cross-border trade and heavy industrial development buoyed by the cheaper means of transport. Upon completion, the Northern Corridor Standard Gauge Railways will be linking Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda and South Sudan. Through the implementation process, communities are already reaping early transformational benefits. The Nairobi-Mombasa component is completed and operational for both passengers and cargo. The Central Corridor Standard Gauge Railways project linking Tanzania to Rwanda, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo has commenced with construction of the Dar es Salaam-Morogoro section in progress and Morogoro to Dodoma section contracted. Ports are critical nodes in the overall transportation system in the East African community. It is through the EAC ports of Mombasa and Dar es Salaam especially that the partner states transact 90% of their international trade volumes, hence modernization of the two ports to accommodate growing trade volumes. So far, these developments are not only reducing port cargo dwell times for containers and general cargo, but are playing a significant part in reducing the overall cost of doing business in the region. Trade is just an essential ingredient of human existence. But the key thing about trade is it brings social welfare and, most importantly, income gains for huge numbers of people. And trade is really important in that it needs to give equality and equal opportunity to people to trade across quite big distances. The EAC boasts of a number of international and domestic airports, which facilitate transportation of passengers and goods within the region and connect EAC to the world. 
over the last five years, the air transport industry has maintained a positive traffic growth of 7%, and the region has currently prioritized the upgrading and rehabilitation of the major international airports in order to improve intra-EAC trade and tourism. The major international airports include Bujumbura International Airport in Burundi, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and Moi International Airport in Kenya, Kigali International Airport and New Bugesera International Airport in Rwanda, Julius Nyerere International Airport and Abe Damani Karuma International Airport in Tanzania, and Taiba International Airport in Uganda, and Juba International Airport in South Sudan. EAC is also undertaking resource mobilization to establish a seamless upper airspace to improve the aviation safety and efficiency and a liberalized air transport market in order to improve the regional connectivity and reduce the intra-EAC air travel and freight costs. EAC partner states have continued to implement the Regional Power Master Plan that has accelerated investments in power generation, distribution, and interconnectivity infrastructure and efficient energy markets. We are now looking at the possibility of private sector built and maintained transmission lines and uh, the revenue from uh, the tariffs will be used to offset and pay the price of the infrastructure so that there's no initial capex required from the public sector to finance such uh, investment. The issue of alternative power generation has been given prominence with geothermal, wind, solar, coal generation, methane, natural gas and coal attracting renewed investor interest and government support. The Zambia-Tanzania-Kenya ZTK Power Interconnector is designed to link the South African Power Pool with the East African Power Pool. The country segments of the interconnector are at advanced stages of development, which comprises of the 254-kilometer-long Kenya-Tanzania interconnector, supplying 220, 400 kilovolts, the Rwanda-Tanzania-Burundi interconnector from Rusumo Falls to Gitega, supplying 220 kilovolts, and the 140-kilometer Uganda-South Sudan interconnector, supplying 400 kilovolts. The EAC partner states have continued to invest and share experiences in the area of oil and gas that has resulted in the discovery of commercial oil and gas in the region. 6.5 billion and 750 million barrels of oil reserves have been discovered in Uganda and Kenya respectively and more than 50 trillion cubic feet of natural gas in Tanzania. The East African Crude Oil Pipeline is intended to transport crude oil from Uganda's oil fields to the port of Tanga, Tanzania. The 1,445-kilometer electrically heated oil pipeline boasts as the longest of its kind in the world. On completion, the pipeline will carry 216,000 barrels of crude oil for export daily. The satisfactory progress in the realization of the priority infrastructure projects in the region has resulted from coordination and collaboration between the EAC partner states, investors and development partners. For developing infrastructures, we have uh, approached uh, traditional uh, donors. These partners can really provide a limited amount uh, of funds. Therefore, it is time for us to think alternative ways of financing this, to think out of the box, as it were. One, of course, is to encourage more private sector participation uh, into financing these infrastructures. The vision of an interconnected East Africa is no longer a distant dream. Much has been done so far to realize it, and more is in the pipeline. By and large, with the current strong and focused leadership of the EAC Heads of State in the development of priority infrastructure and deepening regional integration that is opening up opportunities for development in the region, an efficient infrastructure interlinked and interconnected East Africa is possible. 
a crucial step towards getting the community closer to realizing part of a very mission of a developed and empowered EAC in line with its Vision 2050, aiming at moving the region into the upper middle income category. One people, one destiny.